Continuing to field questions here for USMLE, student asks me if he should be doing his UWorld blocks in tutor mode or in timed mode, okay? Which one is better? Okay, so I will address this question. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends prepping for USMLE, help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. And find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. The links are down below. Now let me address the fucking question, which is about should you be doing UWorld in tutor mode or timed mode? Which one is better? And look, the answer is it's different for every student. I can't give a cookie cutter answer because many of you and how you are preparing, your strengths and weaknesses, degree of remediation that you need, uh, do you have a history of issues with time? There are many variables to consider. However, if I'm going to make uh, some general statements that can provide you some value, I can articulate that doing QBank in tutor mode is overall best for your macro retention of the material. It is in my belief that if you get a question, you have no idea what the fuck you're reading, you say, okay, no idea, and then you can instantly see the answer, that enables shock value right in that moment where you can tr where it triggers something in your fucking brain where you remember it better okay that's my observation with students okay when they go through things in tutor mode they tend to remember things better versus in timed mode there is a propensity for some students to ADHD the fuck out when they're reading 40 explanations in a row that they might not retain things as well okay now it's going to be different for every student as i just said now the I, what I can also say is that doing things in timed mode in order to gain a sense of pacing for the real deal, that notion is overrated. In other words, you could literally do tutor mode up until around your exam, and it's not going to matter whatsoever in terms of are you at a disadvantage now as far as your ability to pace yourself for blocks you're going to be doing the NBME exams, okay? There's I've talked about doing NBMEs 20 through 30, okay, memorizing those forms for your step one, and obviously step two, you're going to be doing six through 11. You're going to have timed online NBMEs, okay? Obviously 25 through 30 are the online ones for step one at the moment, but NBME exams will be how you time yourself. And if we were to sit and chat and you say, no, Michael, but you don't understand, I specifically have an issue with timing, then fine, absolutely. If time has been an issue for you in the past, then we could have you do timed blocks. But when students ask very blanket questions as far as which is better, tutor mode or timed mode, my response is tutor mode tends to be better for macro retention, that there tends to be a shock value as far as instantly seeing the answer uh, when you don't know what you're reading in the question. And that, te that tends to help uh, you retain that information better, okay? That's my view, okay? Obviously, do time to tutor if, depending on whichever one you feel. That's fine. That's up to you. But my view is tutor is better for macro retention. And students who have a weak foundation, especially, uh, I recommend tutor, okay? Obviously, to make more content, you know the deal. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.